Hey guys, Garrett Perella here again for Beast Coast Performance, and today I'm gonna to help you find your radial and carotid pulses so that when you're out doing your aerobic activity, you can track your heart rate, even if you don't have uh, an electronic heart rate monitor on hand. So we're gonna start with finding your radial pulse. Uh, now I should say you will need a watch for this so that you can track time. We're gonna need about 15 seconds. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna come right up here. We're gonna take our hand, See that lovely set of tendons right there? We're gonna go just to the side, thumb side of that, and we're gonna place our fingers gently. Right there next to your radius, you should feel a pulse. Uh, you may need to f f move your fingers around a little bit to find it, but your radial pulse is right there. So you're gonna hold your fingers there and count the number of beats you feel for 15 seconds. And then you're gonna multiply that by four and that is your heart rate in beats per minute. So then, to find our carotid pulse, we wanna find our carotid arteries. We have two. You can feel it on either side of your throat. And what we wanna do is we're gonna come down from the jaw. Uh, if you have an Adam's apple, it's really easy. You're gonna go just to the side of it. And there's your pulse. Right there. Or, right there. And um, depending on your structure physiologically, you can start by placing your fingers very gently. If you can't feel, press a little deeper, but if you press too hard, you'll occlude the blood vessel and that's gonna stop blood flow. You won't feel a pulse or you won't feel a correct heart rate. So start as gently as you can. And if you need to press a little harder to make sure you feel your pulse, go for it. Now, once you've done that math, or counted those beats, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. So, if we have our 65 and 80% of estimated max heart rate, we can divide those numbers by four and give us the number of pulses and beats we should feel every 15 seconds when we're taking our heart rate. That way, when you're out running, you know, okay, I don't have to do math right away, I can just count pulses, and as long as I'm between those two numbers, so, for my example, as a 29 year old male, 124 beats a minute comes out to about 65% of my max heart rate. 153 beats a minute comes out to about 80%. A quarter of that is 31 beats a minute to 38 beats a minute. So as long as when I'm out doing my cardio, if I have to stop for 15 seconds to get a quick idea of where my pulse is at, all I have to do is count the beats and I know, okay, if I'm between 31 and 38, I'm right on target. If I'm lower than that, I need to work harder. If I'm higher than that, maybe I need to ease off. And that's how you find your radial and carotid pulses and use them to tell where you're at in terms of your heart rate. Have fun out there. Stay strong. I'm, I'll just, normally this would be the part where I ask you to donate and subscribe, sign up for Patreon. Um, shit's real hard right now. We're all out of work. We're working out at home because our gyms are closed. We're, you know, making it do on the unemployment check. I don't want your money. It, it, I, I cannot bring myself to ask you in this situation to give money. I want you, if this information is helpful, to share it with your friends. Share it with your friends that have no idea what to do for exercise at home or that need that little extra push and a little extra help doing the math. We're all in this. We've got mortgages to pay, rent to pay, bills, food. You gotta eat, you gotta sleep. Training's extra. This is extra. Be well, be safe. Tell your friends. That's all I can ask. Much love.